We are at the airport awaiting our flight to Austeria, Spain. Our shuttle bus will take us directly to our plane. Finally, we're on the plane and we can relax. After a two hour flight, we arrive at Austeria's airport. First thing to do is to get some food. The airport food was fairly affordable with a varied selection of drinks, breakfast treats, and sandwiches. We ordered a glass of fresh squeezed orange juice, some water, and a ham and cheese baguette, a very popular combination in Europe. We came here with no travel itinerary, hotel bookings, or a plan for that matter. We like to be spontaneous and figure out everything as we go. We met a new friend named Jose outside the airport. He suggested to use the Alsa app to order bus tickets and suggested that we visit the city of Gijón, the largest city in the Austerius region. Once we arrived, he guided us around the city towards our hotel that we booked the same day. Girlfriend was sharing a conversation in Italian with Jose's friend Caesar, who had met us at the bus station. Parted ways at a park near the hotel. Thank you Jose for ensuring our safe arrival. We arrived at the hotel to secure a place to sleep for tonight. They got a bathtub, that's pretty cool. And then, nice little twin beds. Okay, we're gonna have to put the beds together. What the? F now that we had a place to drop off our bags, it was time to chill a bit and then start exploring the city. We discovered a Spanish bakery called Casa de Panaderos and decided to check it out. Just one, how about that? We ordered two pieces of Spanish focaccia bread. Beautifully decorated, savory, and delicious. Next, we decided to head north towards the coast in order to observe the serene beaches and the endless oceans. The smell of fresh ocean water, the sound of waves flowing, the feeling of the warm sunlight, it was all so relaxing. Hey! We can see the entire coastal city of Gijón straight from this spot. Endless blue ocean. Wow, look at this. Oh, this is a good view. Ocean water. We decided to head towards the base of the city to do more exploring. The traditional Austerian architecture is characterized by its use of local materials such as slate and granite, and its simple, functional design. We found a nifty gift shop with some interesting souvenirs. We passed by a familiar park from earlier in our journey and ate at a local Spanish restaurant. Check out my eating adventures in Gijón video to see what we ate. After admiring some palm trees, traversed our way back to the hotel to conclude our first day in Gijón, Spain. Early the next day, we booked a new hotel room. It's much more spacious. Got a little balcony area there. More warmer. More warmer. Oh, and a fridge. That's nice. This is much nicer. Eh, just shower, but whatever. The previous hotel room was cold, had really thin walls, and shoddy internet. This place was definitely an upgrade. There was also a decent view where we could observe the street level. After getting well rested, we decided to explore more undiscovered areas of Gijón. Oh, wow. I really like these little details. Uh, I wish France had more of this vibe. Many beautifully designed buildings all over the city. We decided to check out the local aquarium, the Gijón Aquario Biopark. The interior's construction was quite elaborate. They really tried to simulate that whole forest exploration type of vibe. I normally Korean. You go go. Oh. I guess so. Buy so. I love the design. Like yeah. So relaxing. A little snake. They just sleeping. What else do they have to do, girl? It's like us at the hotel. They just sleep. You wanna eat this? You wanna eat everything, huh? Alright, let's find a restaurant. Find find where we can eat these. Wow. Imagine we could have that for dinner. Hey! 
That's a handsome fish right there. Look at that fish. My girlfriend seemed to want to eat every single fish in sight. Those sea urchin were enjoying a nice jacuzzi. Oh, I've never even seen creatures like this. Interesting. Starfish? Oh. Wow, there's so many! Whoa, this is crazy. Wow, that's cool. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. It's like invisible. Mm. It's like a ghost. Oh, They look all so delicious. Starfish. Baby starfish don't shoot. Oh, all those tiny uh, ones? Oh wow, those are all starfish. Uh, sea creatures are mysterious. Starfish. Yeah. Wow, so many. So many to eat. I don't know how it tastes. Look at that booty. Hey, girl. Oh. Hey, baby. Oh, that's cool. I like this. You got more bigger than that. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey, he's coming towards us. I think he likes us. Hey, buddy. Well, that's a handsome sea creature right there. Ah, oh, now I can see why people like getting aquariums. It's so relaxing. Oh, oh crap! This is what you're eating. He tried eating. He's hungry. Oh, no, they're all coexisting. Hey, buddy. Is that a fish too? I don't even know what that is. Is that a statue or something? It's a one, but sex on that. Crab sex. Crab sex? I have to get this. I can't get the angle. I need to get the money shot. Ooh. Giant sea creature. It's chilling. Look at that. This crab's been following us like the whole time. He likes us. Wish grants us great fortune, crab of luck. Is it you guys all friends together? I uh, I think he's hungry. No. I don't know, he seems to like us, hey. Hello! They're just chilling. No responsibilities. Not a system in the capitalistic engine. They just chill and eat. This fish is just like swimming around. He's trying to find stuff to do. Oh, he found it. This is his spot. They're just swimming. I'm coming. Eating fish. He's eating a fish? Oh, the fish are you saw? Oh, he's eating that fish? Wow! I feel for that fish, damn. Yeah, look, 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 there's a fish there. He's literally eating it. Or they're hugging, I don't know. He's just chilling. Damn, this is a big ass eel. I mean, it's 
fish, they're all just chilling. I kind of want to see them brawl. So these are jellyfish, they could like become young again. This is their cycle. They could literally become a baby again. Yeah, these, as long as they don't get sick, these jellyfish will live like indefinitely because they just keep going through the same reproductive cycle. Wow, look how beautiful they are. It looks like cauliflower and mushroom. Mm. Ooh, la la. The only immortal, potentially immortal creature on Earth. Assuming it has like an environment like this where it can't really get sick or eaten by other creatures. Starfish. Da, 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 da. Oh, I was trying to flirt with this fish, I think. My favorite seafood protein. Live salmon. They have the best meat. Oh. I kind of want to get some Japanese food now. These weird looking circular things. We gotta clean up all the microplastics from the ocean. Oh, the shock. They're all just showing me with their butts. Really just chilling up there. Ooh. Oh look! This is cool. So while we go to the exit we could see more content. Avocado moko? <laughs> I like human food, huh? Oh, so cute. Oh, his friend is eating one too. Oh, look at their mouths. Hey, it's just like watching the Finding Nemo movie. All the fish, all the fish from the movie are here. Look like a submarine. Hi! Uh, inside there? Uh. <laughs> oh, there's another. F they're like hugging. Oh, that's cute. It's, like a not it's hard to see, but that black thing is actually another fish. Fishes we would never otherwise see if it wasn't for an aquarium. Oh, look at that, it's a turtle. Like feathers almost. Can I? It's the clownfish from the movie. This one's not. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh wow, this, look at his eyes. contemplating which fish we should eat the whole time it really built our cravings afterwards we went straight and ate some five euro pizza a really nice pre-dinner snack because all the restaurants that we wanted to check out were still closed we found a paris style boulangerie and got some croissants after observing sea creatures for hours we had a craving for japanese sushi and enjoyed our dinner during our last night in gihon Next day, we took a bus from the Alsa station straight to the Asturias airport. We observed some souvenirs at the gift shop and proceeded to board our plane back home. Overall, Gihon was a nice time. The people here were incredibly friendly and the food here was absolutely delicious. I wonder where we're going to travel next. Well, see you next time. Hey!